Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Anything you need to know about me, guys, will be down in the description box. All right, guys, I'm going to give you messages from your angels and then messages from your higher self. I'm not going to use any to roll in this reading. So the first messages that come out are messages from your angels. So apply what is necessary. These are your messages. They are not your personal messages. These are messages to you. From your angels. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for the collective? Guys, I may choose a couple. Spirit usually tells you how many. What messages do we have from your angels? We got the five of wands. There's a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So there's some stuff going on around you guys, right? With other people. But your angels are telling you, you can resolve it. And the best way that you can with resolve it is just by withdrawing yourself from the switch situation. Like, if people is bringing the drama to you, walk away, right? If you're not starting the problem, then leave the problem, right? You don't have to get involved is what Spirit is saying. And then just have patience with yourself and others. And then hopefully it'll just either dissolve on its own or the people who have the problem will end up seeing the problem and they themselves will rectify the problem because you're going to pull your energy back from it. You, you're not going to give it any, right? Holy Spirit, for the collective, what do we have? Messages from your angels, guys. You have the Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. So you got the Ace of Pentacles, guys. Things are looking good. Your money's looking good. You got new resources of money coming in. Um... Maybe your time changed. Maybe you got a new support system around you. You could have new job, new promotion. But your money is looking good. Your money is steady, right? Holy Spirit for the collective. You also have the Knight of Pentacles. You have a trustworthy person. Someone who's understanding, devoted, and even funny. There is much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. You're being watched over by someone kind. So a knight of pentacles is watching you. While you're building your eight of pentacles, a knight of pentacles is watching you do your thing. And this is a kind person, right? They also know you're in your knight of energy because you know there's so much you need to accomplish. But it's your lucky day. You got new resources of money coming in, time, support. What other messages do we have from your angels, right? Wow. You got the wheel of fortune. Uh, this is new beginnings, guys. End of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. So you got the wheel of fortune. The change in direction is going to be happiness for one, it already looks that way. It's like you're going to walk away from these arguments and these fights over here with these other people, right? Because you're in your Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day. You got new money coming in, new everything. The things you've been working on is good. But then also, you're being looked at by a Knight of Pentacles who's taking their time and looking like uh, they're going to come in. While you're over here being busy, they're coming in on this end. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune. So this night may be bringing in some new beginnings, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for the collective. A change in direction is going to offer you happiness. What else, Spirit? New beginnings, guys. If this, this right here, it says new beginnings. If that does not clarify new beginnings on top of the Wheel of Fortune that said new beginnings, then baby, I can't convince you otherwise, right? But you have new beginnings. Starting a new life, guys. Finding your purpose. And a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So you're going to have to look at your past for whatever reason. And you're going to go forward from there. You're starting a new life. You're finding your purpose. And it may be with this Knight of Pentacles. It may be with someone while you're busy putting your stuff and ducks in the row. They're busy putting their ducks in the row. Mm -hmm. Alright guys. That's
that is your message from your angels. And this is a message from your higher self, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages did you have for the collective? I did five across, I'm gonna do five across. Messages from your higher self. Face your adversities. And guys, that came out right under the five of wands. So you know what? You're just going to have to either talk to these people, say what you need to say, face them, but then withdraw from the problem at hand. Don't make their problem your problem, right? Don't make their problem your problem. So you're going to face this person head on. You may speak to them, talk to them, or whatever it is. You're going to say what you need to say and then be done, right? And this is from your higher self. And spirits, say, go ahead and shine your light. It's your lucky day. You got new resources, time support, and a change in your job. So whatever it is you're doing, shine your light. Let people see you. Whatever you do, do it bigger. Do it brighter. Do it wider. There's enough room for everybody, but it's your turn. Spirit says shine your light. Your inner self said shine your light. Your higher self says shine your light. Stop dimming, stop dimming your light. Live your soul, not your role. So your soul is crying to be seen. Your soul is crying to be heard. Get out there, guys. Live your soul, not your role. Your soul may also be caught up with this Knight of Pentacles here that's coming in if you don't even see. Okay, that's a message from your higher self. Make necessary sacrifices, guys. There's going to come a time you're going to have to make some necessary sacrifices. And that's going to come with... These new beginnings here. You got two new beginnings, which one is confirming the other. You got the Wheel of Fortune, and then you got the card itself that says new beginning, starting a whole brand new life. So you're gonna have to make some necessary sacrifices. You're gonna have to make some sacrifices. Holy baby. Okay. One more from your higher self, and then admit your vulnerabilities. You're gonna have to admit yourself that you want this new beginning. You're gonna have to admit yourself that you do feel vulnerable for whatever is in that new beginning right admit your vulnerabilities and then go be happy right and then go be happy embrace your power that's going to be the last one that i pull embrace your power guys you got the power to be who you want to be you got the power to be who you want to be that's what they say right here right here right here right here all right guys you know what i'm going to pull since the star seeds are here and it's about you, no one else. Let's pull a few star seed cards. You got new beginnings. It looks beautiful. Holy Spirit, for the collective. It says, Breath of the cosmos, my will to do thy will. Micromanaging the universe. my will to do thy will so you're gonna you're gonna go forward you're micromanaging the universe you know to get the things that you want you're manifesting right what is this your life is a canvas guys this is artists your manifestations creative accountability so get out there and shine your light like spirit said embrace your power know who you are you're an artist guys your life is a canvas make it the way that you want make necessary sacrifices and then cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life your life's about to change you about to hope you about to have a whole brand new beginning and each card says so and for you to end with that surrender to the alchemy of life i like that I like that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.